Hello, my awesome and amazing Scorpios. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another special bonus reading for the channel. If you are a masculine and or a feminine Scorpio dealing with a feminine and or a masculine Gemini, then this is the reading for you. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and dive into the reading. We're going to see what's going on between this astrological connection between Scorpio and Gemini. Here we go. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers, and so it is. Uh, my goodness, Toto is already acting up. Okay, I don't know why she's acting up with this energy connection. What's going on, baby girl? Okay, can you can you sit down for mama? Can you lay down, sweetheart? I don't know what you're sniffing for. It's like you're sniffing for gold on the carpet. I don't know why. <laughs> Trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers. <laughs> I can't even think. Toto's distracting me. Where was I at, spirits? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, guess what? I gotta roll the dice. <laughs> Toto, stop distracting me. Okay. Power of number nine. <laughs> you can see the hermit card kick in. Either you or this Gemini Scorpio has been in hermit mode or it feels like there's been radio silence, maybe between the two of you, or somebody's trying to gain a clearer perspective or see the light at the end of the tunnel or going within or reflecting in on this relationship dynamic between the two of you, okay? Or they're watching you. Somebody could be watching you from behind the scenes. Scorpio, you could be watching your Gemini. Gemini, you could be watching your Scorpio, okay? Power number five, we could see the Hierophant. Some of you could have been technically married at one point in time to this Gemini. Commitment. I'm also hearing from spirit. There could have been a Taurus that got in the way. There could have been cultural differences, religious differences. Something also, too, about a spiritual awakening. Somebody here is anointed. Could be that one partner was more spiritual than the other. Picking up on the five of cups, somebody's got guilt, remorse, regret, which is telling me that, you know, there was some form of a judgment call that was made on the connection. Power of number eight. Could see the strength card. Somebody here may need to have the courage and the strength to speak up or to see each other face to face. But it looks like we are going to the number 22. We could also see the high priestess card show up. I'm also picking up off of that number eight, the eight of wands, something about rapid fire communication or this Gemini is at a distance from you, Scorpio, or vice versa. This Gemini could have moved away or you moved away. No, it's like messages out of the blue. Communication. Gemini energy does rule over communication. For the air sign. And power number 22. Some of you could be dealing with the Gemini born on the uh, 22nd of May, the 25th of May, the 28th of May, the 29th of May. Could be dealing with a Gemini born on the 2nd of June, June 5th, June 8th, June 9th. Okay, for some of you guys. So those numbers are coming up. Power number 22. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. Okay. Hey, Toto, why are you panting? What is it about Scorpio and Gemini? Oh, you're panting for some reason. Out of breath? Somebody could feel maybe out of breath with this connection, like exhaustion. Ah, oh, Toto's barking. Like exhaustion? Come here, honey. Let's go sit on my lap so I can get through this reading, okay? I love you. All right, come on. Okay. All right. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, we'll see. We'll see what's going on here. We'll go into the Hidden Truth Oracle and we, we will also go into the Romance Angels deck, okay? All right. Calm down, baby girl. Calm down. Okay. Trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers, in regards to this zodiac connection between Scorpio and Gemini, what is the overall general collective energy, please? What's going on here? The Emperor. Okay. This could be something about commitment. Somebody could have tried to control the outcome in this connection. Somebody could have been a dictator. Could have been, you know, trying to dictate the outcomes. There could have been a family member that might have gotten in the way of this connection. Hopefully the emperor will come in in a positive way. Um, what I am seeing in my mind's eye, what I would prefer to see as a reader, I would love to see the Ace of Cups. Either the Ten of Pentacles or the Ace of Cups. But what I saw first in my mind's eye was the Ace of Cups. I would love to see that happen. To show me. Because the thing about the Emperor, the Emperor, the Emperor is kind of, to me, is like a shape-shifting energy as a person. Because the Emperor can come in, depending on what it's up against, it could come in in a very loving way where somebody you know, is thinking about long-term commitment or the emperor can come in as a tyrant. Like if I were to get, um, let's say for example, the devil card, or if I were to get the five of swords. Okay. So this emperor is leaving me a little bit in question. Somebody try to control though. I I'm picking up more strongly. Somebody try to control the dynamics of how the connection was going to flow. That That's what I'm hearing. Or it could feel like somebody here, somebody might have lost some emotion or somebody wasn't being emotional enough. I'm hearing the word off of this emperor card because my mind is shifting between this judgment, like the judgment card, or this emperor energy. Somebody was being judgmental. There could have just been some, you know, in the past, like petty arguments. Arguments that just didn't make sense or somebody just didn't want to accept the truth on something. Somebody didn't want to listen to the truth or take emotional responsibility or have emotional intelligence. Let's find out. Trusted ancestors, show me that this emperor is going to come in in a positive direction. What does the emperor have to do with Scorpio and Gemini, please? Page of Swords. Okay, somebody's spying in. Remember how I said either you might be spying in on your Gemini behind the scenes, Scorpio, or Gemini spying in on you, but there could have been a troublemaker or somebody was being childlike because, you know, with pages, pages can represent youth, 
I'm also seeing a storyline here where somebody could have been more older, more mature chronologically, age-wise. Uh, you know, maybe Scorpio, you're older than the Gemini. Gemini could be older than you. And somebody could have been younger here. Maybe you're the younger one, Scorpio, or Gemini, you're the younger one. Um, however, with the Page of Swords, feels to me that somebody was trying to stir up trouble. Somebody was collecting information. This could have also been a work-related situation. Gemini, maybe you fell in love with the Gemini at work. Maybe Gemini's the boss. And you were the employee, Scorpio. Or Scorpio, you're the boss. And Gemini's the employee. There could have been a secret affair going on. Somebody could have, somebody could have been married. I'm picking up a storyline. Somebody could have been married and or sleeping around with the boss. No judgment on my part. I'm just calling it out as I hear it. Um, somebody is waiting here for somebody to communicate on a mature level. Put that down for the emperor. And for the page of swords. I'm going to put this here. Scorpio message to Gemini. And a card. Gemini message under Scorpio. Okay, let's see what's going on. Bottom of the deck, page of cups. Somebody's going to reach out with some kind of like romantic, flirtatious communication, or this could be an apology. Because a lot of times, like the page of cups or the five of cups, those two cards in my personal readings, whether it's a you know personal reading or a general collective, it's because there's a judgment call, the judgment card. It may show up. Okay, somebody could be begging for a second chance. Show me the overall energy, again, please, of this emperor between Scorpio and Gemini. Okay. Somebody's getting all up into their feelings here. Somebody wants to reunite. Could be the both of you. But under better circumstances. Some of you are questioning whether or not this relationship dynamic really has the ability to turn around for the better. But I have this immaturity coming in, the spying energy or a troublemaker with this page of swords. What's going on? Okay. Five of swords is coming up in the reverse, but there's that conflict. There's the petty arguments. So somebody here wants to reconcile. This is what I'm picking up. But somebody could be feeling very cautious. Somebody has their sword up. Gemini could have their sword up right now with you, Scorpio. Because um, here I have water energy. I have two, two sword cards, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And in regards to this, we're talking about Gemini. So... Scorpio Ronic energy can come through the two of cups. It's a cup. It's water. Okay, so what I'm seeing here in my mind's eye, <clears throat> I'm picking up text message conversations. The, okay, a lot of downloads I'm getting here, and I'm trying to eloquently put it into a statement here. Okay, I'm picking up, first of all, somebody doesn't trust somebody. Scorpio, you could have caught this Gemini cheating, or Gemini, you caught the Scorpio cheating. Somebody was, this was... Uh, 
It was a runner chaser. There's a runner chaser energy going on here. Somebody told somebody off in text message and also face to face. I'm also picking up the word persuasion. I feel like somebody here is going to try to persuade one or the other here to maybe have a new beginning. But there's this huge, I'm, I'm seeing in my mind's eye, like this huge question mark. Chemistry is there, the attraction is there. But something in the mindset wasn't gelling. That's what I'm hearing. Was not, wasn't gelling right. <clears throat> Excuse me, I still have some chest congestion going on. It's been going in waves with me. Um, somebody doesn't believe what somebody has to say. But at the other, on the other hand, there's a soulmate energy coming in through the two of cups. So either trust, trust needs to be rebuilt. I feel like either one of you could have taken each other back a couple times, seen the number three, maybe three times around, maybe more than that, but I saw the number three. Could have dated this Gemini for three months. Maybe you were trying to get to know them for three months or vice versa. Could have been... Um, Three months, three weeks, um, three years. Could have been with this Gemini for three years. I just heard spirit say vicious cycle. Maybe there's this. Okay, so like I'm trying to correlate it to like Toto's energy when she was panting, like feeling out of breath exhaustion. Somebody was trying to get their point across to either, either or here, because I feel like it, it was for a lot of you guys long, about long-term commitment. Somebody wasn't leveling up there. It, it was like, I don't know if Gemini was the one being wishy-washy or if it was Scorpio. Somebody still wanted their cake and eat it too. So I'm picking up a player. Scorpio, you might have felt that this Gemini was far too laid back for your liking. Maybe not being as serious as you would want them to be. Trusted ancestors, what is the message from Scorpio unto Gemini, please? Okay, Scorpio is saying on the Scorpio side that Scorpio wants to reunite, come together, celebrate, or could have caught Gemini in a third party. Message from Gemini to Scorpio. Gemini energy, somebody walked away. It is showing me that Gemini in some situations that Gemini had enough of something. So what I'm feeling here is that the goals are not on the same page. Again, I'm picking up on a runner chaser situation. It could very well be true that Gemini may be waiting for Scorpio to walk away from a, a third party. Or Scorpio, you're waiting for Gemini to work, walk away from a third party. But I'm hearing somebody get fed up and it's coming in on the Gemini side. Gemini gave up. Picking up in the word anxiety. I don't know why.
Gemini is a very creative energy. I have Gemini. I have Gemini in my birth chart. I use my Gemini energy for basically when I do my readings as, as intuitive as I am being that Scorpio, the communication aspect, speaking things out, that's all coming in from my Gemini that's in my chart. So what I'm feeling here is that somebody was tired of the same old, same old either routine, okay, and just got fed up or there was cheating. So somebody was cheating. Now, I can look at it this way too. Scorpio is showing me on this whole line of cards that Scorpio wants to revitalize the connection, start over. But Gemini, I don't know, Gemini may not be having it right now. Somebody didn't want to give somebody the breakup. That's what I'm hearing. Let's take a look. Let's go into the hidden truth. Let's go into the hidden truth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Message from the Five of Swords in the reverse. My life is not as together as it seems. There could have still been some things that this Gemini was still battling with outside of you, Scorpio, which might have made a, a reason in their mind to walk away. Or they weren't ready for the commitment that Scorpio was trying to offer here, okay? What is this energy of the Page of Swords, the Hidden Truth? They want you. Okay, so... It could be Gemini on the other side of the rainbow here um, that's still wanting Scorpio back. Now, it could be in the other way, but I'm seeing this action from Gemini. Gemini walked away for a reason because the, something in their life was not together. They, they might have had a lot of issues. There could have been family drama. There could have been children drama. Um, maybe they feel that their work life wasn't, you know, as up to par as they wanted it to be. I'm not necessarily feeling that either one of you are financially destitute or anything like that. Um, and this is something about where the goals, like the goals were not meeting or matching up. Do I feel that the two of you had really good times together, had a good time going out? Did you laugh and joke? Yes. I'm feeling an absolute major yes on all of that. Show me the Two of Cups. Hidden truth about the Two of Cups. I left you before you can leave me. Scorpio, you might have left Gemini before. They could leave you. But now somebody wants to reunite. So somebody's thinking something over here. Message from the Emperor. I wish I could take back my words. So... Because the Five of Swords, because remember how I showed you the Five of Swords in the upright, petty arguments, not having the meeting of the minds. Somebody said some choice words. They were harsh. They were mean, cruel. Okay, that's what I'm picking up. Message from the Three of Cups. You speak to me through music. So you guys, either one of you might have been in a band. Maybe you guys are a singer or like to play a musical instrument or like to go out to places where there was live music. What is the Eight of Cups? Hidden truth of the Eight of Cups. I want to tell you how I feel. Even though somebody here walked away, somebody might have had a hard time expressing all of their emotions. But on the bottom of the deck, I know I messed everything up. Okay, so I feel that somebody here is going to make a return, but the waters, I don't know, the waters may need to calm down right now. Message from the Five of Swords in the reverse, romantic feelings. See, somebody could have felt like they were put into competition with third parties. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. It could very well be true that somewhere in the connection that this situation between Scorpio and Gemini just didn't have enough oomph to, to kind of get up and running off the ground here.
Message from the Page of Swords. You deserve love. You are lovable. Well, somebody wants you. Gemini, you either want Scorpio back or Scorpio, you want Gemini back. Somebody, somebody made somebody feel like they weren't worthy of love at the same time. Because somebody walked away. When somebody walks away, it makes us feel like we're not worthy. It makes us feel like we're, we're inadequate or that we weren't good enough. Okay, so somebody made somebody feel that way. But Spirit wants to remind either one of you that both of you are lovable. Okay. Message from the Two of Cups. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Okay, so there could have been differences between the two of you. Maybe somebody wasn't feeling the vibe in that moment because if somebody left somebody before the other person could leave, it, then that tells me that there was some form of insecurity and that the characteristic traits out of either one of you, whoever was, quote unquote, the different one, okay, it could have been the both of you. Both of you had unique attributes and characteristic traits, okay? It could have been overwhelming. You know, it could have been overwhelming. The, I, you know, it's amazing. Scorpio-Gemini connection, it's not all uncommon. I see it happen quite often. Scorpio's dealing with Geminis, okay? So, There was insecurity, maybe because it, it could have been a matter of intelligence. Maybe somebody was more educated than the other. Maybe somebody didn't feel like they can meet or match, you know, you guys on an intellectual level because the emperor is intellectual. Message from the emperor. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So this tells me that somebody has a desire to put the effort back in. This is like an eight of pentacles energy to earn back somebody's trust after certain words were said. There's regret. There, there is some regret going on here. Message from the three of cups. Deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. So there could have been, again, third parties or somebody wanted their cake and eat it too, wanted to still do the party life. Who knows? But somebody was masking over their real emotions here. Because here's romantic feelings. And then you got deception. Okay. So... This is really about a meeting of the minds or being on the same page with your goals. But I am picking up somebody was a player. Message from the Eight of Cups. Wedding. The situation involves marriage. So if you were in some kind of committed partnership with this Gemini, vice versa, somebody walked away or walked away from a marriage, or if the third party, if there was a third party circulating somewhere out there in the ethers, then somebody here on this Gemini side, Gemini could have went off to go have long-term committed partnership with somebody else. Now somebody wants somebody back. Somebody got fed up. Let's just put it that way. But on the bottom of the deck, true love, this is a romance of a lifetime. So... There may end up being a wake-up call somewhere in the grand scheme of it all. But it could be just right now things need to just chill. Go find yourselves again. Go get back your sense of independence again. Get back into your personal power, your self-concept. Okay? Because in some regard, I do feel like it's kind of like the what goes around comes around. Two of Cups. I mean, the Two of Cups is about a face-to-face -face meeting. This face-to-face -face meeting can happen in the next two minutes, two hours, two days, the second hour of a particular day, or with traditionally speaking, cups represent months. So it might take another 60 days for some of you guys to have a new connection here between the both of you. But somebody needed to level up or have more maturity. Somebody wants somebody back. So again, 
there's, I'm picking up regret. To my beautiful Scorpios and my beautiful Geminis, if you'd like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers for your personal situation, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. But until next time, take care.